Lesson 3 provides students with more practice finding the GCF so that they can build their fluency. Here, the directions say to use the most efficient method possible, which means that they should ask the magic question first. This lesson is pretty straightforward, so let me go over just two examples with you. Take a look at box C. Here, we're going to find the GCF of 18 and 9. Ask the magic question first, larger number divided by the smaller number. Can you do 18 divided by 9 evenly? Answer is yes, so circle and star, and we're done. On the bottom it asks, which method did you use? And we use the magic question, so we'll check that off. Take a look at box D. Find the GCF of 6 and 14. Ask the magic question, can you do 14 divided by 6 evenly? Answer is no, so let's use the shortcut. Don't factor both the 6 and the 14, just factor the smaller number. Here, we have 1 and 6, and 2 and 3. Just like in real life, start at the bottom and work your way up. Can you do 14 divided by 6 evenly? No. Cross it off. 14 divided by 3? No. 14 divided by 2? Yes. Circle and star, and you're done. Which method did we use? We used a shortcut, so we'll check that off. And that is lesson three.